Superintendent Denise Juno. Governor Inslee has made an emergency proclamation closing all schools in our state through at least April 24th. As a result, Seattle Public Schools will be closed for a minimum of six weeks, with classes returning on Monday, April 27th. This is an unprecedented situation, and I appreciate your patience and understanding as we work to support our students, families, and staff throughout this closure. Our first priority is the basic needs of our most vulnerable students and families. Starting Monday, March 16th, we will be serving lunches at 26 school sites across the city. You can view a map and a list of student lunch sites on our website. As our community responds to COVID-19, we must support those on the front lines who are selflessly protecting and caring for our loved ones. We are working with partners on how we can provide childcare for healthcare workers and families furthest from educational justice. And we'll provide more updates soon. I know there is a lot of anxiety around student learning continuing during this closure. I hear and I share your concerns. While we cannot provide online distance learning due to issues of equity and access, we are working on a plan to provide supplemental learning opportunities. Starting Monday, March 23rd, we will be creating and broadcasting guided educational activities through SPS TV, social media channels, and our website. Local station Como TV4 will also be sharing content to help us reach more students. For students who do not have regular access to internet or local TV, we will also be providing aligned printed activities at our 26 student lunch distribution sites starting March 23rd. Seattle Public Schools is first and foremost an institution of learning. While these activities are not a replacement for classroom instruction, we are committed to providing educational opportunities for all our students throughout this closure. We are in the process of creating this content and are working on making our resources accessible for all students. Finally, starting Monday, March 16th, the John Stanford Center for Educational Excellence will be closed to the public for one week out of an abundance of caution and to support the health and safety of our central office staff. Staff who can complete their work from home will be able to do so, and regular operations will continue. While the enrollment counter at the John Stanford Center will be closed, enrollment and customer service will be available to answer questions online or over the phone. This is new territory for all of us. We are working with local and state officials including the State Education Agency, to navigate this evolving situation and to provide inclusive supports. Thank you for working with us in our community's response to COVID-19.